Wake up, Jacob. It's me, IP, and if you're rocking with the tribe, like, share, subscribe. And in this video, I'll be talking about divorce and adultery. Okay, Jacob, we'll be talking about marriage and, and divorce, or I should say divorce and adultery. Because there seem to be a lot of confusion over this one passage of scripture, and that is Matthew 19, right? And to be more precise, it's Matthew 19 at about verse 9, if we take a look at it. And what it reads there is it says, And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for the for, for fornication, and shall marry another, committed adultery. And whosoever marrieth her which is put away, doth commit adultery. And so, a lot of people think that, well, a man commits adultery if he divorces his wife unlawfully, marries someone else, he's committing adultery. Now, at the surface, it does sound that way, but we really got to go back into the scriptures and really look at a few things. Because first and foremost, when we look at adultery, we have modern version or modern definition of adultery. And if I just put it in layman's term, it's basically if a married person, male or female, steps out and have sexual relations with someone who is not their spouse, right? So that's the modern definition of it. But what we need to do is if we want to employ a little bit of hermeneutics, and one of those uh, things in hermeneutics is that we have the law of first mention, okay? And, or the principle of first mention. And that that's how we get interpretation, right? So if it means something when it's first defined, that's what it is, unless explicitly redefined, like if I'm talking about something else, right? So we want to go back and look at that. So when we look at adultery, where do we find that? We find it in Exodus 20. So if we go to Exodus 20, if we go to Exodus 20 and 14, it reads, Thou shalt not commit adultery. And then when we click on the word adultery, we come up with the Hebrew word uh, 5003. So it's H5003 and it's naaf, right? And it, in the lexicon, it means to commit adultery, to commit uh, usually of a man, which is the first one, it says always with wife of another. So a man commits adultery when he sleeps with the wife of another man. Also, if we continue leaving out idolatrous worship and things like that, leaving that out, we go to the Strong's definition, which says... A woman, it's adultery or a woman that breaks wedlock. So now we get the principle or the idea that adultery is completely dependent on the status of a woman. Adultery is dependent on the status of a woman. So a man sleeping with a married woman that is not his wife, he is committing adultery. Or a woman that is married and sleep with any other man other than her husband she is committing adultery. So with that being said, let's go back to the Matthew 19 uh, and verse 9. And we also want to pair that with Matthew chapter 5, because we're still talking about the Messiah who's talking to Israelites who are Hebrews, right? So it's okay that we get a Hebrew definition, right? So now we go to Matthew 5, when 532, which reads, But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife saving for the cause of fornication causes her to commit adultery and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committed adultery so now the man the husband who is doing this he he's out of it as far as the adultery but he does cause her to commit adultery and anybody who comes along who marries a divorced woman for an unlawful purpose she he is also committing adultery so the woman and the guy who comes along and marries her who is divorced unlawfully, right? So that is in Matthew chapter 5 and 32. And when we pair that side by side with Matthew 19 and 9, listen again to how it reads. It says, And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whosoever married her, which is put away, doth commit adultery. So it almost takes the woman completely out of the equation in Matthew 19 and 9. It's like she's not committing adultery in 19 9 because it says if the man puts her away, he commits adultery. And any guy who comes after her, 
he also commits adultery and the woman is like she's off the hook right so no we have to always put it together put it in context and go to some of the first mention so we have to understand the definition is uh, mar adultery always dependent on the status of a woman the marital status of a woman and to put these two together matthew 5 and 32 and matthew 19 and 9 it simply means that a man who divorces his wife unlawfully he is causing her to commit adultery because she's not lawfully divorced. And if a guy comes along and marries her because she's not lawfully divorced, he is also committing adultery. And when it says in 19 and 9 that he commits adultery, it means that the adultery that he is causing her to commit is put on him because he put her away unlawfully. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share that with you and kind of clear up a few things. If there's some other scripture that you guys want breaks down and clear up, put it in the comment section down below. I want to get your thoughts, your questions, your concerns, and don't forget to smash that notification bell, like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Israelite Prepper. <laughs>